continuing investigations by Scotland Yard. The murder victim was identified as Mrs. Maureen Lyon. The police informed us that a man was seen in the area wearing a dark coat, a white muffler and a felt hat.
I am not mistaken, your husband is with you. Yes. Th that is, I, I want to say he was with me, but then he, he went out to stoke the furnace for a moment. Again, but <coughs> it was taken past time. You, Major, went to the library to see if the phone worked. Where were you when Mrs. Ralston screamed? I was still in the library. I was looking out of the window to see if the lines were cut, as you suggested, but I couldn't see anything. I heard Mrs. Ralston scream and came running back. Don't you think you took a bit too long? I don't think so. <laughs> and you, Mr. Wren, where were you? <coughs> oh, I was in my room. Why? Why, it's normal to be in your room. Sometimes one just wants to be alone. You were in your room because you wanted to be alone? Yes, I wanted to clean up and uh, comb my hair. You were uh, holding <laughs> your hair. Is your mate name Wang? Yes. You taught at the school that those children attended? Yes. Isn't it true that the youngest, Jimmy, sent you a letter and had a pleading for help from his young and virtuous teacher? You never answered that letter. I didn't, because I never received it. Now you simply ignored it. That's not true. I was ill and I didn't get it for weeks later and by then it was too late because the child was, was dead. He was dead, he was dead. He was dead waiting for me to do something. If only I had been ill, if only I could know. Yes, it was outrageous, wasn't it? I'm not the police, Mrs. Walston. I'm George, Jimmy's brother. <gasps> 